Hey everybody, how's it going? Trader55 here, and today we talk to you guys about something that's always been bothering me for quite a while. I'm trying to make a video of it. Is that should every game on PSN, whether it be digital, physical, digital only, whatever, should have a platinum trophy? It's obviously m way more good things than bad things. If there's any bad things to having all the games be be having a platinum. So let's just start off with the good things. One major good thing about it is that it's going to attract trophy hunters, people that want to get the platinum trophies. Because I know people on Facebook, on various websites that just bought some games that just like, oh, I don't, I just bought the game just for the platinum trophy. And some of the games that they bought actually is really good. So it actually benefits the, the, um, the developers. So not only is it going to attract more people that just, while having a platinum trophy, they can tell other people like saying such and such is a good game. So then, that being said, it's like, oh, we're gonna attract more people, play, more people playing it, and get more exposure to it. So I just see like it's always gonna, just gonna be a good thing for that. Because I don't know why Sony would just say that not all games should have a platinum. You know, on Xbox, usually they used to have it before where some games, digital does not have a platinum trophy. It will have like 200 gamer score points, 400 gamer score points, but now, believe on Xbox, all the games, digital or physical, has a thousand gamer score points. That's just, just a that is just a basic score for every game that comes out on Xbox. So that actually is good for them. So that gets people exposure. That actually helps make the games exposure. That actually helps out the developers. Another benefit for having a platinum on your game is the replay value. Because I know some games like, oh, you got to beat this on normal, then on hard or extreme, whatever the difficulties they want to do. So it adds to the replay value. And some people actually enjoy it. They just keep on replaying it and replaying it and replaying it. And just put more hours into it. So especially if some games are online, it actually will make the game stay alive. And they'll add new content with the DLC. So all that really leads to good, good things. I know not all the time, because some games can get repetitive. The online... And speaking of those games, it's like Tomb Raider Definitive Edition or the Tomb Raider 2013 version for the PS3, Xbox 360, or Definitive, ver definitive Version that came out in 2014. I don't know, the, P the PS4 version and Xbox One version. Nobody really liked the online, and it was a real struggle for some people to actually find others to get the game and to actually stay there and suffer through the online system that everybody hated the last benefit which i could think off the top of my head i guess mainly applies to indie developers and that is the price of the game and what i mean by that is let's just say you're a trophy hunter you want to get the platinum for another game but you don't want to spend 60 dollars or some some game may not be the right price yet you want to spend on so then you wait then, you, then a new game comes out like oh it's 20 dollars 15 dollars whatever and it's, it has a platinum and it's cheap too so yeah, let me just go ahead and buy that game, and they just which all also leads to the other benefits that I was talking about before, like more exposure, people talk about the game more, spread spread the word around, more people buying it, and replay value. So all I can think of is just good benefits for every game having a platinum, and I know developers would like that idea too, cause shoot, they put they put a whole lot of time into making the games and spend a whole lot of money. And if having a platinum, meaning to get getting a few more people to spend more money on your game, then that's good because they get the money back, and hopefully make another game that, that they want or continue to do what they were trying to do originally. Who knows? Anyways, that is it for this video, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. Dragon Fifty Five. Yes, I came back to Twitch all because I don't even know if Xbox is gonna have. YouTube live stream and if they if and when it's gonna happen and I'm like I'm not gonna wait that long so let me just go back to Twitch so it will be streaming there streaming there Xbox games this time too and PS4 so thank you guys for watching again and until next time stay safe and happy gaming